What if you could build your own AI twin or influencer in just a few clicks? Today, I'm showing you exactly how with two live samples you can copy step by step. For this tutorial, I'm going to start with the easiest one, which is an AI avatar like a digital character. All you need to do is go to ChatGPT. The first thing I did was upload an image on ChatGPT. Just clicked on the plus sign, add a photo, and upload any picture of yourself or your AI character. Then write the prompt, which I'll have available in the description box. Then click generate. It's going to take a little time to generate the image. If you don't know what an AI influencer or AI avatar is, basically they're the same thing with one key difference. An AI avatar is a digital character or version of yourself created with AI. It could be static images or animated videos. It doesn't matter. It's usually for representation, like a cartoon character version of you. Okay, you see how it came out? This is so cute. Now let's say you want to add different emotions. You can definitely do that. I can say, make her look confused and create another image using the same base character. You can keep asking for different emotions. Everything will be in the description so you can upload your image and add the prompts I provide. Whatever emotion you want to add, you can go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to show you how to create your own AI influencer. You guys have been asking me, oh my God, how do you create an AI influencer? An AI influencer is still an AI avatar, but it has its own personality where you can build and act like a real person, a real influencer. First thing I'm going to do is go back to ChatGPT and ask it to help me create an AI influencer for my brand. I'm going to give detailed information about her. She's Italian and black. She's five feet, five inches weighs about 150 pounds. She's pretty with a nice hourglass figure. Whatever comes from your mind, whatever prompts you have, you can describe them. Then I'll ask ChatGPT to help me create a detailed headshot prompt based on the description I provide. Now that I got my prompt, I'm going to open a new chat to create an image with this prompt and see how she turns out. This is how she looks. She looks so real, she looks amazing. What I'm going to do is take the same prompt and go to Google Gemini to use Imagine and see what we get, because sometimes different platforms give different results. In the meantime, here is another software I am also testing. If you've never used different platforms to create AI influencers or avatars, I suggest trying Higgsfield. I'm using the free version, but they have different prices, $29, $49, $249 a month. They also do videos and include Google VO3. They have a UGC factory where you can create user-generated content and they just came out with Lip Sync Studio. It's good to have different platforms that offer everything all at once because who has time paying for different subscriptions? Imagine buying subscriptions to Ideogram, ChatGPT, Claude, VO3. Your monthly bill would be a lot of money. The best thing is to find AI platforms that provide everything. In Higgsfield, you can create folders to organize your characters so next time you can upload the same image and maintain consistency. Now we're going to use the same prompt to see how it looks in Higgsfield. I'm just going to paste the prompt in the box here. Since I'm using the free version, I need to use the Higgsfield Soul option and then I'll click Generate. Let's see how this compares to the other platforms we've tested. This gives you a clean transition that explains what you're doing and sets up the comparison without any repetitive language. Now let's see how Gemini came out. My only issue with Google is that sometimes they all look the same. But let's see the difference between ChatGPT, Google, and Higgsfield together. This is Google. This is ChatGPT. This is Higgsfield. There's another one called Crea.ai that does amazing work too. You need to find software that's willing to do everything. Out of all of them, they kind of look similar, but this one looks most like what I envisioned. Crea does amazing pictures. This one is really cute. Every platform has their own pricing and features. 
So it's good to have a platform where you can create as many images as you need. Before we move on, let me know in the comments which platform you're going to use to create your AI influencer. I want to hear from you. And don't forget to share this video with your friends who might be interested in creating their own AI avatars. Also, September 28th, mark your calendar. I'm dropping my school community where we'll dive even deeper into AI strategies, exclusive tutorials, and everything you need to start making money with AI. Now, as you can see, there are so many different ways to create an AI influencer. Each platform has its own strengths and gives you different results. Let me know in the comments which platform you're planning to use for your AI avatar creation. I'm curious to see what resonates with you. And if you want me to show you how to turn your AI avatar into a video, like making them talk and move, let me know in the comments and I'll create that tutorial for you. Don't forget to subscribe if this helped you and I'll see you next time.